The Holy Tales. Let me tell you the story of Emily. There lived a young girl called Carol. She was six years old and a very popular girl in school. She was friendly and sweet and everyone wanted to be friends with her. One day, a new girl called Emily came into Carol's class. She was a quiet and shy little girl. She went and sat all by herself in the last row. Carol, who was sitting in the front row, turned back at Emily and smiled to make her feel comfortable. Emily smiled back at her, a little hesitant. The teacher entered the class and began teaching. Soon, the bell rang and it was lunch break. All the children got up and ran out into the garden to play, except Emily. Carol was about to leave the classroom and she looked back and saw Emily sitting all alone, looking out of the window. Carol went up to her and said, Hey, why don't you come and join us? It's fun during the breaks. We all play together. Come. Emily didn't know if she really wanted to go out and play with the others. She was feeling very shy in her new school. But Carol would not leave her alone. She pulled Emily by her hand and ran out of the classroom. She took her out into the garden and brought her to her other friends. Look, we have a new friend. Everyone, meet Emily. Emily, these are my friends. Emily smiled shyly. There was one boy in the group who did not smile back at Emily. He said, No, I'm not going to play with her. I am not playing if she is playing with us. Saying this, he stomped off. Emily started crying and she ran away from everyone. Carol was angry with Tim for his rude behavior. So she made a plan and discussed it with her other friends. Next day, after class, Carol went out to play with her friends. They took Emily with them too. But this time, they did not take Tim along with them. Tim sat all by himself and watched everyone playing together and having fun. He felt really bad. He thought to himself, That's okay. They want me to play with them tomorrow. The next day, the same thing happened. Emily, Carol and all of their other friends were playing together. This time too, without Tim. Tim was very angry with Carol for leaving him out. He walked up to all of them and said, How can you all start playing without me? Now, do you realize how Emily must have felt? When you chose not to play with her? Tim realized his fault. He apologized to Emily and they all started playing together happily. So, it is never a good feeling if people don't choose you. We should always love everyone the same way. I am sorry, Gumbo. I didn't want to hurt you. You can take mine for now. And I promise to get you another one the next time. Take mine, Gumbo. We're really very sorry. The Holy Tales Haven't you heard the story of Gideon? The story of Ian? Yes. Come, Gumbo. I'll tell you the story of Ian. And you will understand God always makes us strong if you believe in Him. There was a young boy called Ian who lived with his father. Ian's father was a lion tamer at the circus. They were quite poor. Ian was not a strong boy. He was rather weak and small. One day, Ian's father fell very ill. He lay on his bed and in a very feeble voice said, Ian, I do not feel very well. I cannot work very much today, but we need money for food. All right, father. 
I'll go and borrow some food from our neighbors. No, Ian. Today, you go to the circus and do my work. That way, we'll get some money for food. <laughs> you must be joking, Father. How can I go and tame a lion like you? I have no idea about taming lions. You learn, my boy. Once you see the lion, you'll understand how to control him. Ian was not very convinced. But father, look at me. I am so small and weak. How can I tame a lion? A lion is wild and ferocious. He will attack me and eat me up immediately. I cannot do what you're asking me to do, father. Ian's father realized that Ian not only thought himself to be weak and small, but also did not believe in himself. Ian, always remember that God is with you. God will help you and guide you through every step. There is no reason for you to be afraid. Go and tame the lion and you will see how strong and brave you are. Have faith in God and believe in Him and yourself. So Ian left. He had to listen to his father. Once Ian was inside the cage, all his fright went away. He prayed to God and started with his work. The lion attacked him for the first few times. Ian was not afraid at all. He hit the ground with his whip a few times. The lion snarled at him. Then when the lion was just about to jump on him, he cracked his whip one last time. To his surprise, the mighty lion was entirely in his control. He was like a little cat in front of Ian. Ian walked out of the cage with not a single scratch on him. So, Gumbo, next time when you are afraid of something, always remember that God is always there to help you to be strong and brave. God will always love you and be with you. Come, Tubby. Fight me. I am not afraid of you or anyone or anything. I am strong and brave because I love God and God loves me. Yes, Tubby. Me too. The Holy Tales I am going to tell you a story about a little girl who was dishonest just like you. And both of you are going to listen very carefully. Susan was a little girl who lived with her mother. One day, her mother sent her to the market to buy a loaf of bread. Susan went to the bakery and asked, Sir, may I please have a loaf of bread? Of course, my dear. Here, take it. Thank you so much. Susan paid for the bread and by mistake, the baker gave her back more change than what he was supposed to give. Susan knew right away. She thought to herself, What should I do? Should I tell him that he made a mistake? Or should I just keep quiet? Thinking for a while, she decided she would keep quiet. She left with the change. When she went home, her mother was very angry with her. How can you do this, Susan? You are being dishonest. Go back and return the extra money. Susan felt miserable. She listened to her mother and went back to the store. As she entered through the door, she saw the baker getting scolded by the manager. Hearing the manager shout at the baker, Susan felt even sadder. It was because of her dishonesty that this man was getting scolded. She rushed in. Sir, I have come to give back the extra money that you gave me as change. I am sorry. I took it home by mistake. I am so sorry. The manager and the baker both were glad to see Susan's honesty. 
As a reward, they gave her a delicious cupcake. As she was leaving, the baker patted on her head and said, You are a good and honest girl. Susan felt happy. All that feeling of misery vanished the moment she was appreciated and rewarded. She realized honesty always pays off and brings happiness. She went back home and her mother gave her a tight hug. We are so, so sorry, Gumbo, for being such dishonest friends. Yes, Gumbo, we are really very sorry. It's okay. We're going to go right away and own up for our mistake. Good job, Tubby. So you realize that it is very important to be honest. And God loves us and wants us to be so. Yes, we do. Come, Tubby. Let's go. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole